Alright, I think I'm gonna be staying in Portland a couple more days. I just found the audio I was looking for. Um, like I always said about my audio, audio is not about me, it's about what's going on around me. And I found a very important audio, which is the one that ties everything together. Uh, I knew I had it, just didn't know where the hell it was. Um, got so much damn audio. Um, but anyway, I digress. Uh, the audio is, uh, actually about, uh, the black woman you hear in the audio, and who she actually works for. Um, uh, she works for the State Department. <clears throat> now, in the audios, if, you know, you've been listening to them, um, you hear certain things about, um, contacting, uh, Congress, getting money from Congress, um, contacting foreign dignitaries, um, but they actually attack them. Um, so, um, there's a lot getting hold of the biologicals, um, having access to highly classified information, um, stuff like this. So, um, you know, it's a, it has to be only a few organizations that can do this. Uh, it's Department of Homeland Security, FBI, CIA, uh, military, um, but you start going through all these groups, and um, military does not have access to dignitaries. Um, FBI doesn't have, um, and CIA, they, they can have access to um, biologicals, but it's only at the upper agents. It's never what you're ever going to come in contact with. Um, and they have to sign off on it. So, I mean, if you're talking about um, a smallpox outbreak, which is what happened in Olympia, you're talking about having to go to the CDC in order to get that smallpox. So, um, but um, it ties everything together. Um, and it is the State Department that ties all these things really together. Oh, NSA, stuff like that, whole thing. Um, so... Um, and I found the audio, um, and that's the one that's protected us all, and the rest, all, all this audio is just, um, supporting, um, evidence of crimes, stuff like that. Um, so I have to get that audio cleaned up, because I'm going to have to cross the border with it, um. Unbelievable. I was supposed to leave this morning, and I find a damn audio. Um, so I do have to get that cleaned up. Um, and I have to contact somebody. But, um, yeah. Uh, I just found, uh, yeah, amazing. I'm like, what the hell? I'm supposed to leave this morning. Um, actually, I was supposed to leave at 7. Because I had a quarter to 10 bus. Um, but, um, so, uh, I'll be here a couple more days. Um, I will be taking that audio with me. The rest of it, I really don't give a fuck. These are crimes. I mean, I'm walking out of this country. It's going to snap right off. And that's it. My life, I'm starting a whole new life. I ain't taking none of this shit with me. As far as everybody else, well... Um, one of two things. You're either involved with the crimes, which now the government has proof of, or, um, and you can't sit there and say entrapment. Uh, you just can't. These people came up to them, told them they were terrorists, and they're like, I don't give a fuck, I want my money, I want my house, I want this, I want that. Entitlement. Um... So, um, and that's not entrapment. That's called greed and stupidity. And that is a lethal combination. Um, um, 
but um, yeah, they had um, in the audios even there was like um, they went and they got money from Congress. Um, there's two different amounts for two different reasons. Um, one was seventy million, which they put out the COVID nineteen on, and um, then then there was a two hundred fifty million from Congress to this person, a black woman that you're hearing on the audios. Um, so, um, yeah, having access to all this stuff, um, especially how they classified information, having access to military, military bases, um, you know, having access to biologicals, um, there's just a lot where you can sit there and you can pull all this stuff from the audio and sit there and go, well, you know, they might have access, but only the top people there have access. And they may have access, but only tight people have access, and, you know, so then you start um, eliminating. And that's how. And when I found that out, I knew I had it. I just didn't know where the heck it was, but I found it. So I will be here for a couple more days. I will be crossing the border with that audio. And I'm going to go to the immigration judge and say, here's my protected asylum. And here's all the supporting evidence. Just make sure you give me a copy of everything. I don't care what he does with it.